guys 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 you know when when you have something and you don't know how beneficial it can be to your economy and it's only someone who is not even your neighbor who comes to steal it but when you decide now it's time that i use my resources i look for them i try to do more research about my resources that is when you realize i have too much more than anybody else that is mali for you and in the recent recent days mali might become an oil el dorado the economic and geopolitical implications of such discovery will be immense so there is a major discovery that is shaking up the african energy map after mali uh, uh, after oil reserves estimated at 4 billion barrels have been discovered in the Tudeni basin in Mali. And you wonder why they are financing terrorists? Here we go. If these estimates are confirmed, Mali could quickly become the continent's leading oil producer dethroning Nigeria. Hi. You see? Now this is the good thing of having a president who is about your development mm. as a country it's, it's been said that mali will dethrone nigeria as the continent's leading oil producer guys this will be huge and you know now it's the yes mali Niger, and and burkina yeah. and remember niger has a lot of oil right now they are selling to china and this has brought about a lot of commotions with Patrice Talon of Benin, where they are, you know, doing a lot. They are blocking the movement of oil. Sometimes they even destroy the pipeline. They steal this oil. They, you know, just to... They refuse access. Yeah. Just to, to ensure that Niger is, is not benefiting. But as we are seeing it, it's now the whole of a years and uh, if africa and african countries are wise won't we'll stop buying our oil from the middle east to go to niger mm -hmm. mali nigeria like south africa did and it, it will be one hell of a beautiful you know trade between african countries imagine if france was still in charge of mali and they discover all of this and mm. this is hey this is very ridiculous because now that they have discovered this has happened in Mali, they are trying by all means to destabilize Mali with the hope that they will get, they will regain the, the, the country the control and control. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They must try their luck. And this is the time for Asimikweta to really, really toughen up because with this, a lot of enemies are going to yeah. come. Yeah. With this, France will try everything. Even if it's stealing the oil, they will try and steal using these terrorists and all of these other guys that they are always using. But for Mali, we have, we, well, we know that Burkina Faso has a stronger army, a strong equipment, because this guy keeps on telling us, yeah. um, uh, Traore keeps on showing us what he has recently gotten, what equipment he has. But we don't know what kind of equipment that Mali has, whether it's well equipped to secure its territory from yeah. the, the, the destabilization, because a lot more is yet to come, and Mali needs to brace itself. But the good thing is that it's a confederation. They're always ready to bring in the army from Burkina Faso, from Niger to support in any case. But Mali needs to toughen up, you know. Yeah. It's more money for Mali, but more enemies. Yeah, guys, but we appreciate, you know, having a transparent government like this. Mm -hmm. Let's say the whole of eight years, eh, in which the people now know that we, we, we will this be... What we have, yeah. yeah, we have this. Mm -hmm. And I remember Niger talking about a national park, mm -hmm. in which they took away from France. Mm -hmm. And this is what is in yeah. Africa because that national park is full of minerals. Mm. And in Kenya right now, young people are fighting because we have just realized our national parks are not for a wild they animal. Are they are mineral reserves. Mm. And also, they are not owned by Kenya. They are owned by the foreigners. Mm. And it's crazy. It's crazy. That's why we need new leaders like the AES leaders. And we envy you guys from the AAS, but what do we do? Keep We're on pushing for our own. Yeah, we yeah. keep on fighting mm -hmm. till we get our own. Mm -hmm. So kudos to Mali. I know this will be huge for Mali. And as we talked on the, the they are they are you know re, 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 relaunching their 
national airline and co they are continuing building their airport. This is the reason. And they have the resources to do that. They are bringing in nuclear power. This is now something that we need in Africa. But let them be our light, let them be our way, so that the rest of African countries can look at that benchmark and say we want to get there. That's what I'm praying. So let us know, brothers and sisters, what you think about this good news for Mali. Were you expecting such news? Well, we never expected this, this to happen, but we're excited for Mali. And we're hoping that Asim Kweta will toughen up because the journey is about to be tougher than it has been. Let us know in the comment section in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to support us, we have a Buy Me A Coffee link. We also have Super Chats and Super Thanks. And you can also support us by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye.